let's start our class today with extension of umul kitab al fatiha Okay, in the previous class, we learned about the polymer. In the previous class, this is what we learned. Uh, so, we learned about uh, this uh, definition of the polymer. We learned about the type of polymer. There are natural polymer. And we learned about this uh, three things about wood, hair, wool, skin, and also the latex. We also learned the synthetic polymer. And as I said before, uh, whatever you learn in the material course this, uh, this time, is mostly uh, geared to this synthetic polymer the, the, the natural one but along the way i will also if let's say uh, if i want to discuss about the natural polymer in detail uh, along the way i will also go deep lah. but mostly we will discuss on synthetic polymer so for the synthetic polymer is basically a poly polymer that uh, include the familiar plastic like uh, <coughs> so uh, so please mute. I don't know who is this D one zero six one two one one zero three nine two. Please uh, mute your. I can mute yourself, right? I can mute you. Okay, but please mute, huh? And also please use your real name, huh? Because if you do this, uh, your name is not captured in the attendance. And if you are not attend the class, then there are repercussion in terms of bearing later on. So make sure you use your own name because if not, I don't know who you are. Okay, so let's continue again. Uh, let's go here. So the synthetic polymer include the family plastic, for example, the one that's uh, derived from the petroleum oil. And we learned uh, four things uh, previously. PET, HDPE, uh, and then PVC and LDPE. Okay, and then we stop there. So today we will continue from this, from this one, two, three, four, until seven. Uh, and then we go in terms of the polymer uh, mechanical properties and also the chemical uh, properties of the polymer and so on. So let's go here. So uh, let's uh, recap a little bit uh, like what we see just now. So we see that the polymer type, if you put the polymer type here, polymer type here, you have this uh, what we call the natural one. Natural one and the example that we give is basically what is a uh, wood and then the uh, the hair the the what we call your what we call your the 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 wool this is the wool and then this is the hair the hair of the person and then what else we learn um, and also the skin eh? the skin so that's what we learned before lah skin and then also we learn about the latex eh? one of the natural polymer is about latex latex and also we go for the synthetic one synthetic and for time being we have learned about uh four things which is one is uh what uh, one is a pet polyethylene tetraethylate second is hdpe high uh high density uh polyethylene so hdpe and then we learn about the pvc we learn also about the ldpe so you need to know a little bit about what's the difference between ld and HD, the low density and also high density we already discussed before. So today we will continue straight to the next, uh, what we call next uh, synthetic polymer that uh, common uh, use in uh, our daily life, which is number five. Let me put number five here. Number five is, uh, what? Uh, number five is PP. Okay, so PP stand for poly propylene eh? Pro -pro propylene we learned before that polymer uh, this poly uh, is basically uh, just a repeat of many uh, monomers so here the monomers is propylene propyl propylene propylene so the propylene have this uh, structure like this eh? so you have c c and then you have ash and then you have ash here H here and then you have H here and then you have this CH3 here and then you have something like this and then you have what we call the bracket and then you have N so this is basically the monomer of polypropylene eh? polypropylene so you can see uh, what make the difference is that you have this CH3 the uh, propylene uh, structure there so this is polypropylene uh, monomer uh, and uh, typically polypropylene, uh, you can find it uh, normally in uh, what we call in a plastic container. So example for where you can find this thing is in a plastic for, uh, container. 
normal kitchen ware lah a kitchen utensil uh, the plastic lah uh, plastic container plastic container container what else uh, plastic container and also like like a food container lah the food container and so on eh. so if I may I put here like this and I put yourself here <coughs> Okay, so I think it's okay, right? So that's okay, right? So normally this is the thing that's uh, coming from the propylene. Eh? So you have something like this. You have this plastic container like this made from the polypropylene. This also the cup like this normally from the polypropylene. The straw, the normal straw, not the uh, plastic. Uh, the plastic straw is also made from the polypropylene. And when you are in the lab, uh, later on, when you go to the lab, you will use this a lot. So this is a centrifuge tube. So you put something inside that and then you put into a machine that can rotate a lot, uh, very fast, uh, rotating. So something will be uh, sedimented inside this tube. So this is what we call centrifuge tube. Eh? Uh, so this tube, this one, the, the body of this tube is made also from the polypropylene. So maybe I can add here. So example, another example is centrifuge tube, centrifuge tube, eh? centrifuge tube. Okay, what is the properties of polypropylene? Eh? So polypropylene, eh, uh, <coughs> the, uh, one of the properties is resistant to fatigue. Eh? Resistant to fatigue. So let me put uh, the, the, prop, the properties. So basically polypropylene, they have this uh, properties of resistant to fatigue. To fatigue. Fatigue ni letih lah. Fatigue. Meaning that if you do something repeatedly, for example, uh, you know the tic tac uh, tic tac uh, ni tic tac hand uh, cap like that so like this uh, let me go here so if i go if i may if i put here girl if i do tic tac tic tac what is the thing tic tac like that tic tac two what is it tic tac two not tic tac two uh, image so this thing <coughs> tic tac tic tac not two delete enter okay so the handle for the tic-tac here, you can see the handle here, normally is made from the, uh, this one eh, what, uh, yeah, the handle lah, the, 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 what we call the, this handle lah, you open uh, many times, you open a, uh, to get that tic-tac, you open this again and close, open, close, open, and close, so when you do something repeatedly, then the plastic will uh, experience this fatigue, letih ya, letih ya. So uh, the polypropylene is good because they have this uh, good resistance to fatigue. Okay, so when you do this uh, again and again, open, close, open, close, then uh, normally people use polypropylene lah to do that. Okay, to to as a material of choice. So let's go back to here, <coughs> to here, and let me close this thing. Okay, so that's uh, what does it mean by resistant to fatigue? Eh? Resistant to fatigue. Uh, the next properties of the propylene is that uh, propylene also uh, can withstand the autoclaving. Eh? Withstand, withstand uh, autoclave temperature. Temperature lah. So you know, I think you know autoclave, right? So autoclave is like, uh, I mean, you know, right? Autoclave. I, I believe you, all of you know, because you are from the matriculation. Uh, they are like lab also there. So autoclave is basically when you want to sterilize something. You have like, uh, you want to kill something. For example, you have the milk or whatever, uh, and then you can put into autoclave, and then it will uh, heat it in such a way. It will heat it in the uh, elevated uh, pressure. Because when you cook at home, when you go to the kitchen, you cook at home, you cook it at this normal uh, pressure, normal uh, room pressure. I mean that this room pressure is one atmosphere pressure, one bar. But when you put into autoclave, you basically, you close the, uh, what you call, close the lid. And then when you close the lid, uh, when you cook, the vapor will rise and that it will, it will trap inside the lid. So the pressure will be increased, increased, increased. So the idea of this, uh, pressure cook or basically the autoclaving is that to cook something under high pressure so that you can use low temperature uh, so that uh, one of the idea of this uh, let me go here eh, here what is the thing okay so here you can see this tic tac right 
so let's see maybe i put this uh, pressure cooker it's the same idea with the pressure cooker so you have this pressure cooker there you have this thing like a pressure cooker something like this something like this let me put here let me put here <coughs> like this this pressure cooker so basically when you cook you close the thing you create the pressure inside the thing you you create uh, you you don't allow the pressure to escape the, the weapon to escape so pressure will be keep increasing okay so that's a sort of like idea of autoclave auto lah so normally if you want to cook uh, gently at low temperature but still uh, equivalent to when you uh, sort of like uh, cook at a high temperature at normal pressure then you use uh, this uh, pressure cooker because when you cook normally when you cook like this when you cook something like this in the in the normal air you cook let's say you need 100 celsius eh? let's say you need 100 celsius in order for this thing to be cooked let's say you have a meat like that right you have a meat like that let's say this open air open air like that this is 180 m eh? 180 m so imagine that this meat let's say this is meat meat and this is 180 m is one atmospheric pressure so you need 100 celsius to cook but if you can put the lid eh, if you put the lid for example, the same thing but now you put the lid eh, you put the lid the pressure will build up inside so the meat inside there the, the meat whatever you want to cook again this thing the meat again you only need just a low temperature compared to 100 lah. maybe you can use only 50 celsius like that and then still the the meat will be sort of like cook as if like this thing the idea is that when you reduce the pressure then everything change lah so uh, i believe in your uh, what we call the matriculation you learn about this uh, boys law the pv equal to nrt nrt have you learned this in your this is physic physical class i mean even in your spm also you learn this have you learned this uh i fifth pv and rt have you seen this pv and rt the equation like this Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you look here, the temperature here, so the idea is that the temperature here, you have this pressure. So, if you decrease, uh, <coughs> so if you, what we call, uh, this like, uh, sort of like, uh, uh, what we call this, uh, correspond lah. So, if you increase the pressure, so if you increase the pressure and then you, the temperature will be low lah, then uh, make it low lah. So it's more like that, PV and RT like that. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, so let's go a little bit there. Not so we done with that. So that is properties of this poly uh, polypropylene. Eh? it can withstand the temp uh, the the high temperature. That's why normally the, this uh, plastic like this, you can put in microwave and so on. Uh, more often when you see plastic like this. And then is that you will see uh, what we call the the logo that said that uh, safe to autoclave uh, because when you do put thing in the autoclave then you uh, put in something that's high temperature lah. Increase pressure, lower the pressure. Wait, lower pressure. Something strange when you increase pressure. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, so that's the thing. Eh? So that's uh, about uh, about it. Uh, wait, something not right here. Here is when I increase here, this also need to increase. Oh, okay. Uh, that is the other way around, lah. Is this when you put the lid, you decrease the pressure? Hmm. Because when you have something like this, PV equal to NRT. If you increase the pressure, the temperature also you need to increase. Um, let me check later. Let me check later uh, about this thing. I think this is lower pressure. It's not high. You're not increasing the pressure. You lower the pressure. It's okay. I will uh, go. Uh, I will check later. Something a little bit wrong here. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are focusing on this polypropylene. Uh, so we done with the polypropylene. So let's go. Let's see about the what we call this uh number six um number six uh, number six is polystyrene eh? number six 
let's see uh, the example of polymer number six is a PS we call it PS which is stand for polystyrene let me put uh, this blue color lah. so number six number six is PS which is stand for polystyrene eh? polystyrene polystyrene so uh, polystyrene um, uh, the example of polystyrene is uh, uh, but before we go to the example let's see the monomer first the monomer for this polystyrene is like this eh? you have C, C, you have this, 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 this you have ash, ash and then ash but here you have something like this this is a benzene eh? this benzene and then you have something like this and then you have N here so this is the monomer of polystyrene eh? you have this what we call this uh, this uh, bulky part this what we call the benzyl benzyl group lah this is a benzyl group or benzene lah benzyl group here so this is benzyl lah. benzyl benzyl or people might say it as a aromatic aromatic group aromatic group okay so this is the monomer for polystyrene so you have this repeated over and over again you get the polystyrene so the typical example of polystyrene is when you see something like this uh, something we can say like this the normally in white color lah normally in white color so let me put it somewhere so this thing and sometimes you can see the polystyrene also can be made into like a foam like this foam like this like a foam lah so this also polystyrene lah so yeah the polystyrene doesn't need to be in white color eh? sometimes you have this uh what we call the clear 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 transparent uh, material that's also can be from the polystyrene but this is the example of polystyrene eh? so let me put the polystyrene uh, example for polystyrene is uh, uh, the utensil uh, plastic utensil uh, plastic utensil uh, plastic utensil uh, and also the styrofoam this one this one is styrofoam you know that right styrofoam eh? So basically the plastic you make it as a foam okay a foam is basically uh, something uh, you have material and then you have air air bubble inside that so that you get foam so polystyrene you can make that eh? so this is uh, styrofoam this is an example of polystyrene eh? so uh, the properties of this uh, what we call this polystyrene is uh, uh, this is inexpensive meaning that it's not it's cheap lah. It's cheap compared to other plastic. It's uh, relatively cheap lah. So let me put properties. Properties is inexpensive. Huh? Uh, it's it's uh, expensive. Uh, and also let me close this a little bit because maybe you cannot see that thing. So let me put like this. Okay. Like that. Okay. So let me make it here. Okay, it's inexpensive, uh, but the problem with this polystyrene is that it's brittle. Eh? It's brittle, brittle. It's brittle, meaning that it can easily you can easily keep up this thing. You can easily fracture this uh, what we call this uh, uh, spoon. Okay, polystyrene spoon. It's brittle and also uh, it has uh, poor barrier, poor barrier, barrier what we call to oxygen and water to oxygen and water okay so that is uh, one of the i need to move this here lah. wait eh? i need to move this thing so it's much easier for you to see eh? so i need to move a little bit here ah, okay you can see now okay so that is a poor barrier to oxygen and water and also it have low melting point it also have this low melting point meaning that you cannot put in the autoclave you put this into autoclave it will melt easily lah compare when you put this thing this is polypropylene if you put in the autoclave or you put at high temperature it, it can withstand a little bit better lah than this plastic the the polystyrene the polypropylene can withstand the the temperature much better than the polystyrene okay so low melting point eh? low melting point <coughs> Okay, so um, up to now we have learned about until six six synthetic polymer, eh? until six uh, synthetic polymer. Mm. Wait ah, I I cannot lah because this thing, I still not I still it is annoying. It's it make me annoy eh? this thing. I need to get the answer. Okay, so when you autoclave, uh, it's about autoclave. Let me go here. Wait ah. Eh? 
Sometimes you need to deal with that thing eh. Uh, let me put eh auto cliff auto cliff cliff auto cliff uh <coughs> auto cliff so that is the auto cliff the one that I said before auto cliff so this uh when you do in the lab this is what happen you want to sterilize something so let's go to all so auto cliff uh ele elevated temperature and pressure okay so you increase the pressure okay so you increase the pressure so pressure is increased so wait ah huh? pressure increase so we know pressure increase so is it an rt going down or going up i think going down when you increase pv equal to an rt let me uh, get this thing first huh? because i don't want this thing to be hanging huh? pv equal to an rt okay so sometime when you want to learn something you can just go to the google and nowadays it's very easy eh? um, uh, previously when the internet is not there when you if you you are living in the time there that is no internet life is not so easy like this nowadays is very thing i mean you, it's very easy everything is in your fingertip is whether you want to do it or not only okay but of course having this internet also have this uh disadvantage you have this what we call the the bomb bombardment of the information it's too much information you don't know which one is correct which one is not lah so let's see this pv and rt i just want to get the idea uh what does it mean by pv and rt um oh this one I better go to camgot okay um, <laughs> no, this is not much. I prefer go to here, the university. Okay, this thing. Wait, ah, huh? let me check this first. Um, not here. It's okay but, uh, because this also related to your chemistry eh? at least you need to know a little bit about your chemistry i just want to understand if i i increase the p is it the t will increase or down i think it will increase or yes. anyone can see uh, may i try yes uh, uh, the is actually the increase in external pressure so this external pressure uh, Okay. It's related to the vapor pressure. Okay, and then uh, and also the boiling point. So uh, as we can as we know the um, definitions of boiling point mm -hmm. is the temperature at which the vapor pressure equals the external pressure. Okay. The definition of boiling point. So when the external pressure is increased, mm -hmm. like the uh, rice cooker, pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. So uh, when the external pressure increase. The boiling point of uh, the material inside the pressure cooker will also increase in a uh, short time. So uh, it will cook the the food inside it faster. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. So it, it actually uh, short masa, masa mm -hmm -hmm. uh, so when the pressure when the pressure increase, the boiling point of material increase. Point uh. of material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Okay, so thank you. So Nabil eh? Ah yes. Okay, you get one point. <laughs> you get one <laughs> point. Eh? Uh, so basically, uh, uh, that's something to do with the vapor pressure lah. Because when you increase, because when something boil, when something boil, meaning that the vapor pressure is uh, decreased lah. Uh, it's like this. Uh, well, so for example, let's say you have something like this. Okay, so when you put something on the what we call on the in the cup water in the cup let's say this is water okay so you have pressure there you have pressure of uh, air pressure uh, sort of like uh, press the surface of the water here so that's why the water you don't see they are like bubbling like that uh, but then when you sort of like uh, sort of like uh, hit something you uh, give in the energy so this uh, the what we call you can see now the the molecule on the surface of the water start to have this uh, enough kinetic energy to escape the surface of the water. So that's why you can see the bubbling. When you put something into autoclave or pressure cooker, what you do is that you uh, sort of like uh, increase the pressure, increase the pressure inside. 
without heating for example let's say you you increase the pressure for example this and then you close the thing you close the thing and then you increase the pressure you increase the pressure no you not increase the pressure you lower the pressure you lower the pressure because when you lower the pressure then this uh, water molecule start to be able to escape and so on uh, but what uh, Nabe said is correct just I, I cannot sort of like for time being uh, with this this life thing uh, life teaching like this I, I cannot sort of like uh, make sense yet uh, uh, cannot, cannot think because I need to also continue the teaching so I think I will uh, explain uh, in further thing when uh, next class I will uh, explain a little bit about this lah the relationship between uh, the what we call the this what we call the equation and also this water boiling point and water pressure and so on because this have something to do also with your material science eh? uh, because sometimes um, the material science with the uh, with the chemical for the chemical engineer you deal a lot with this uh, uh, elevated temperature elevated pressure and so on so i believe this thing even though a little bit uh, tangent from what i want to teach uh, in terms of polymer I believe this will be useful also uh, in the future class lah. Future, I mean, for the future um, lesson later on. But I will come back to this uh, later. Uh, but what Nabi said is correct. Just I cannot make sense yet about this uh, this equation and so on. I will I will explain later lah. So that's how that's that's a difficult thing about teaching. Eh? Sometimes it's not like uh, you know everything. So Sometimes uh, you need to sort of like uh, be make sure what you say in order to give uh, the correct uh, information to your student or whatever lah. So for that, this we put in KIV. This thing I put in KIV and I will uh, explain it later lah. Okay, now we have seen before uh, six things. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have PET, HDPE, PVC, LDPE, PP and PS. So if you look here, uh, I put in such a way that this also uh, correspond to the resin identification code. Eh? So let me put here, uh, bawah. So this what I want to put resin identification code. Okay. Okay. So for example here, uh, when you go, to, when you see any plastic, eh, when you see any plastic, for example, like this any plastic when you uh, look at the bottom of the plastic for example like this when you see at the bottom of the plastic you can see something like uh, the triangle and have this thing right you have something like triangle like this something like this right and then you have number there one and then you have two three four five like that you have one and then you have like triangle lah, like two and then three and then four and then five. Oh, it's not that so I'm, I need to make it smaller here let me make it smaller 5 and then you have normally they are until uh, 6 only eh? until 6 only you can see this triangle uh, at the bottom of any plastic uh, most of the plastic you have this uh, triangle the recycle uh, sort of like recycle uh, uh, symbol that's basically resin identification code eh? it make uh, the recycler easy to identify which one to recycle because when you want to recycle something you need to put uh, uh, you cannot recycle two things together you need sort of like sort in such a way that if you have PET then you need to put everything PET together and then it's much easier to recycle because you only remelt that thing and then you put do uh, you create a, another new nilah, new material recycled material so for example here underneath here i don't know whether you can see or not uh, so you can see there uh, i don't know because is it you can see or not that i don't know you can see or not because this is a uh, color this uh, plastic is transparent so you can see that right so that is a triangle there so that is pp eh? pp is five pp right yeah pp so you can see that a uh, triangle thing you can see a uh, pp so if you go to if you look here number one two three four we see number one two number one is pet eh? number one pet so so this one is normally for pet so this is for pet and two is basically for hdpe so i i 
explain this plastic uh, synthetic plastic in such a way that you have this flow lah so this is what pvc and this is ldpe and this is uh, pp polypropylene and this is polystyrene eh? so if you so pet pet eh, for if you, you go to you have this plastic bottle uh, you try to see normally at the bottom here eh? at the bottom here you have this uh, what we call the that triangle is a little bit difficult when you have something transparent it's a little bit difficult to 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 see lah uh, but here is the bottom here so i don't think you can see here because it's uh, it's transparent but uh, you can take any plastic bottle in your home or whatever you can see that you have this uh, triangle uh, and they put number one so that is PET uh, hopefully I, I don't think that you can see that but uh, try to find any bottle like this eh? normal bottle not your tapaway eh? any normal bottle find somewhere so you have this and then you can sort of like know okay this is from PET so when you learn it's much easy to remember when you relate with your life eh? rather than you just learn theory 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 you go find any plastic material in your home and then you try to see whether is it pp or whatever so this example of that so number two is hdpe so hdpe as i said normally you can find in this uh this lah this uh bottle like this the translu translu what we call translucent something that is not uh really opaque but also not on uh totally uh transparent you can sort of like see some not totally opaque lah so normally they put in the bottom there in the bottom there and normally you can also see inside this uh, for example this uh, the, the in the shower in the in the when you go to your bathroom and so on you can find this uh, hdpe high density polyethylene number two uh, make this thing eh? so for example here down there you can see that uh, you can see uh, i don't know whether it can because my camera is there so not really sure whether you can uh, see or not but you can see there there yeah. so that is a number two hdpe sometimes they don't put the uh, sometimes they don't put the what we call the numbers they just put the name hdpe like that so you know that when people want to recycle this thing when you want to reuse this plastic again they need to sort of like uh, sort everything uh, you have hdpe all hdpe lah so make uh, the life easier for recycler lah if not uh, you cannot get this pure hdpe again okay so this is hdpe and also then the pvc uh, normally the pipe lah the pipe here the pipe here normally they don't uh, put the the symbol lah sometimes people don't put okay uh, so for the pipe normally you don't see lah uh, but uh, most of the pipe uh, in your home the one the in gray or in white is made from the pvc for LDPE, this normal plastic like this, eh? normal plastic, you can see also uh, inside this, you can see this L, uh, this LDPE. So you can see there. So you can see that they put uh, LDP. Here they put PELD. Eh? It's the same thing. Eh? Polyethylene low density, the one in triangle there. So that is LDPE. You can see that the number is 04. So that's uh, the idea of this mix showing that this is made from the low density uh, polyethylene so if you can see the molecule inside you know that low density polyethylene have many branch huh? that's why you can sort of like uh, uh, what we call uh, tear this thing easily compare when you have this thing from HDPE it's very rigid it's a little bit rigid okay so that's uh, the LDPE and HDPE and then for the PP uh, as I mentioned before this thing so you can see under any microwavable plastic you go see underneath and you can see pp normally lah more often than not you can see pp uh, and then number six is polystyrene polystyrene is this thing uh, you go uh, go to any uh, shop and if they provide you with this uh, spoon whatsoever you can just see and the uh, this at the back of the spoon here so you can see at the back of this spoon where is the thing because it's difficult here so that yeah you can see there i don't know because it's small there so i cannot see whether it focus or not but hopefully you can see there on uh near my thumb is the what we call the triangle there so uh, yeah so they are triangle there so they put 
six number six there they just put number six there i don't know whether you can see or not but hopefully you can see lah so there are number six there yeah. where everything yeah hopefully you can see lah so that uh, the triangle there number six hopefully you can see if you cannot see just find this anywhere and or try at find any plastic and just try to look at the bottom and then you can sort of like uh, get idea what is made from okay uh, for resin identification code is actually until seven uh, until seven until seven uh, until seven for example there are one more until one more is seven uh. seven is for others uh. for others for others for others for example others here others plastic that we don't discuss here for example others than PET, HDPE, LPPE, PVC, PP and PS for example like uh, what you call like uh, poly, PC PC is polycarbonate uh. polycarbonate so I put here polycarbonate so polycarbonate is a plastic that is normally tough uh, normally that is quite strong normally when you have this like uh, this thing uh, safety glass or your helmet wizard the helmet the, the, the one that's the wiz wizard the wizard not the helmet itself the the, the wizard okay the one that uh, for your eyes protect your eyes and so on the clear one the transparent one that's normally made from the polycarbonate it's a very tough lah, very tough and very strong lah. <coughs> so this is polycarbonate example is basically safety glass lah. safety glass safety glass is a one of example uh, let me make this thing uh, one of the example of uh, plastic material that used to make the safety glass is polycarbonate <coughs> and other another example for others is basically uh, what we call the nylon eh? nylon 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 is normally um, uh, is basically nylon is basically poly uh, what we call polyamide eh? polyamide okay polyamide 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 nylon is polyamide uh, so nylon is polyamide. So I think for the polymer, I think we do three class lah, three class. So this uh, second class, maybe uh, third class, I will continue again for the polymer because uh, as I said before, uh, for chemical engineer, the polymer is the most common uh, material uh, is uh, that we encounter rather than metal and ceramic. So I think we will focus more a little bit on polymer. So let's talk a little bit about polyamide. Lah. Polyamide is a nylon. Normally when you do like fishing, uh, fishing string, uh, fishing, yeah, fishing string lah. The fish, fishing, fishing string. Is it fishing string? The name. Fishing string, fishing, fishing rope, uh, fishing rope. It's not fishing string, fishing rope, uh, fishing rope, fishing rope. Okay, example is fishing rope. Uh. Example for this thing is example is fishing rope, fishing rope, uh, fishing rope. So let's talk a little bit about nylon, eh, uh, because uh, now is that uh, we want to sort of like uh, integrate the chemistry and also the material. Uh. So nylon uh, is just a trick name, eh? but the nylon itself is basically polyamide. You know what is poly? Eh? So the amide, when you learn in the organic chemistry, I believe in your matriculation also, you have learned a little bit about organic chemistry. So what is a what is amide here? So amide, the function of amide is basic. Uh, the what we call the molecular structure of amide is basically something like this lah. You have N, and then you have this. The N is amide. Normally, when you have something N, nitrogen in the structure, we call it a mine. Lah, a mine. Uh, but this is a mine. So you have this, and then you have C, and then you have double bond O. So this is what make become a mine. When you have N only, for example, when you have NH2, so this is what we call, this thing we call a mine. Okay? When you have this O, double bond O, so we call it mine more uh, O, and then C, and then N, we call it a mine. Lah. It still have N, but uh, we rather call it a mic uh, rather than a mic lah. So you have something like this, an ash, an ash, an ash. Yeah. So this a mic lah. So poly a mic. What does it mean by poly a mic? You have this structure repeated again and again. Yeah. So the the nylon or poly a mic is one of the first synthetic polymer. So we are dealing with the synthetic polymer. So all this is under synthetic. Yeah. Synthetic polymer. 
from 1 to 7 just now all this uh, under synthetic polymer the nylon or polyamide is the first ever polymer uh, the first uh, ever synthetic polymer that is synthesis eh? commercially commercially so uh, so normally you can make fishing rope you can make also stocking uh, the, the woman stocking lah sister you sister eh? sister you sometimes you have the stocking that is can stretch along uh, a lot so they use nylon there so stocking uh, the woman stocking is the first commercial uh, the first successful commercial synthetic polymer that is used in the world eh? so in 1920 something like that so that is the first time the the plastic world uh, start to become commercialized lah the nylon is one of the first ni lah ok so that is the amide lah so sometimes uh, we know nylon ok so <coughs> so you can use a stack so you can put also in the toothbrush 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 bristle parachute parachute and so on lah ok so uh, and also sometimes oh this you cannot see eh? I need to bring here uh, wait ah, uh, let me bring here. Eh, let me bring a little bit here so that you can see clearly there. Okay, you can see right. Okay, so <coughs> so that's example of ni lah, example of a uh, thing that is made from the nylon ah. So let's talk about the mic uh, itself ah. So sometimes when you see uh for example ah, uh, uh, let me have. Do you I have this thing? Uh, what is the thing? Where, where is the uh, this thing ok sometimes when you go in your kitchen you see your mom or your or yourself lah uh, cook something you use this uh, spatula the plastic spatula eh? uh, if you use the tefal brand or whatever sometimes they put underneath the the spatula if you can see there I think you can uh, you can see right that thing ok they put what? They put the circle, uh, the triangle there. But they put what? They put P A six six right? P A six six that that uh, poly A P A meaning that polyamide. Okay, P A six six. So this this thing is made from the P A six six. Eh? If you see underneath, they put uh, the circle there. They are circle like this, circle like this, and then they put this uh, P A six six there. Okay, so what does it mean by PA? PA, we know PA stand for polyamide. Polyamide. So we know this thing is sort of having this nylon-like uh, structure. Okay, nylon is tough. Huh? Nylon is strong and tough. One of the advantage of nylon is strong and tough and also you can do like this. Huh? So that is nylon and ni lah. <coughs> so what does it mean by this 6-6? Six, 6-6 six? Six, six here meaning that this common nylon eh. Six, six meaning that you have two uh two sort of like two uh two structure you have six carbon and then you have another six carbon you combine together so that's what does it mean by six 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 here six here combined together so uh if you want to uh look in the so six carbon lah so meaning that if you have something like what we call something like this you have one two three four one two three four five and six you have six carbon there you have six carbon there and then there are another six carbon uh, uh ni lah uh, another one from here lah <coughs> let me put here your weight lah <coughs> uh, this something like this okay so you have something like that and also you have another six here let me I draw something here uh, let me draw something here one two three four five like this so okay you have this one Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the six, six mean that six, uh, two molecule. You have six, six carbon. But where is the amide? Uh, when you see nylon, they put the six, six. What does it mean by six, six? Basically, coming from the six carbon atom of one molecule, and another six is one carbon atom from another molecule combined together. And then the bridge between them is uh, a mic linkage. So you have this repeated a mic linkage again and again and again. So you get polyamide. 
So that is basically uh, what we call uh, the the nylon lah. So the the nylon. Uh, <coughs> so nylon, okay. So basically the nylon. So what you see here, what you see, all you see now is a nine twenty two. So I think we just uh, fit. So this number seven, eh? Number seven for others, eh? Sometimes they just put seven only. You just see number seven. Some of the material, for example, like this, eh? Like this cup, like this bottle, lah. Eh? Like this bottle. Uh, if you want to re recycle this thing, you cannot just dump everything like that. Uh, those who are at recycle uh, uh, place, if they truly want to recycle this thing. They need to separate all the plastic here because this plastic, this thing, if you read, if you find underneath that, they put one normally for the plastic like this. If you go and see underneath that, they put one, they put uh, one here, so PET. But this thing, this cup, this cup here itself, if you open that thing and if you can try to see underneath that, uh, normally it's under the cup, lah. so you can see also the triangle. You cannot see, lah. I think you cannot see there. The normal bottle that you have, this thing, the normal bottle that you have. So you have the label there, right? Like you have the label, label. So normally this part is made from the polyethylene. This part is made from the HDPE. And then the bottle itself is made from the PET. So you see, in order to recycle, truly recycle to doing the recycle, you need to really separate to sort it. Uh, one by one part by part okay if not you have the mix of recycle uh, so that's why sometimes when you see in the recycle uh, place they will open this uh, cup they will open this cup and then the spread okay they will not just give this thing okay so that uh, what does it mean by resin identification code eh? the number here in the triangle is resin identification code is basically to make it easy for people to separate the plastic so that it's easy for them to recycle. So that's what the idea of the uh, resin identification code. So I think for today, we just finish until uh, seven here only. Okay. So next class, we will continue again with the polymer. So the polymer will take uh, a little bit longer, eh? a little bit longer because I want to focus on polymer mostly. Eh? And as you can see along the way, I also include some chemical chemistry and so on because you are learning material science for the chemical engineer. So you need to know also a little bit detail about how it's made, the polymer is made and so on. So we, today we learn about also how this polyamide is synthesis. What does it mean by PA66? Uh, so after this, you can go to your kitchen and try to look whatever this triangle thing and try to make sense lah what is this thing and so on um, because why it's much easier it's much easier for you to learn when you see uh, with your hand when you uh, use it in your life rather than you just learn in the class and then go to the exam and then forget it's much useful for you to use the knowledge that you have and apply in your life see uh, go somewhere go to the shop when you go to the supermarket and then try to see what is this made of and so on okay so now uh, today we just cover a little bit we just cover about the pp we cover about the ps we cover also about uh, this uh, pc polycarbonate okay polycarbonate also example of polycarbonate the cd yeah example also uh, your cd dvd CD and DVD like that. Eh? CV, DVD. I don't know. Your generation. Do you have the CD still? You, do you know? Do you know right? CD right? I don't know yes. because. Yes. Because nowadays yes. everything is cloud. Yeah, you, everything is cloud. Everything is thumb drive. Uh, diskette. Have you ever touched the diskette? Diskette. The diskette. No. Eh? Yes. Oh, you, yes. You, oh, you still. Yeah still have this thing